What up? Today, ladies and gentlemen, is a very sad day for me. Um, today, the NBA came out with a statement regarding their new uh, media rights deal. And there were several inklings um, going around before about, you know, what was going to happen. Um, and there was news previously about the potential for the media rights deal to be transferred to a different set of companies and providers than are currently um, signed with the NBA. The main thing here is that this is basically going to bring an end to the NBA on TNT or Turner Sports Network um, at the end of the 2024-2025 NBA season, which means that the very popular Inside the NBA show with Ernie, Shaq, Kenny, and Charles is going to also come to an end. So I don't know about you guys, but the Inside the NBA show is quite literally my favorite show on television. Like hands down, there is no contest. It is my favorite show. I will do anything to try and be home from work by, you know, 7 p.m. Eastern or whatever time the pregame show is starting, specifically on TNT Thursdays when they have the, you know, the crew of Shaq, Kenny, Charles, and Ernie there. Um, it's just sad. It's just so sad. Inside the NBA has been on TV for, I'm pretty sure, like over 30 years. And that group of guys has been together on that show, I believe, since Shaq retired um, in what, like 2011, 2012? Shaq retired in 2011, but. I'm not sure if he joined in 2011 or 2012. But it is just the most fun, lighthearted, great show on TV. It's so genuine and sincere, and you just feel like you're a part of the friend group when you see all these guys, like, joking around and talking basketball with each other. And, like, for someone like me who grew up playing basketball – and still plays basketball to this day, loves basketball, loves the NBA. I have so many just great memories of like, you know, feeling down on a certain day and just like going to the NBA app and seeing that there's like, you know, a TNT game on tonight. And I just, my whole mood changes because I know I'm going to, you know, get home later and turn on the TV and see, you know, these guys that just, love to have fun, just, you know, have fun together and talk basketball. And it's, it's just, I don't know. I'm like at a loss for words right now because I, I didn't actually think that it was going to come to an end. Like I remember hearing all of the, the rumors about it and hearing that the NBA was kind of looking for, you know, something else to do. And I just, I just didn't think that there was a way that you were going to break you were going to break this show up. Like, this is such a crucial part of the NBA to me that, like, I, I feel like I can't be the only one. There's got to be other people that feel this way about this show. And a lot of the reason that they're, you know, so invested in the NBA today is probably because they grew up like how I grew up, just, like, watching these guys talk about basketball, but also just, you know, joke and make fun of each other half the time. Like, it's, it's just such a great great show and they have such great on-air chemistry i mean they won a they won an emmy like they they've won awards for 
this show and like that's like unprecedented i'm pretty sure for you know a sports you know pre-game and post-game show it's it's crazy so i'm definitely going to be watching every single pre-game and post-game show regardless of how early they start or how late it goes I'm, I, I'm gonna make a point this year to really cherish every last moment and you know just really enjoy it I mean I like I'm not even kidding like I might I might cry when that last show comes like I might cry like I'm not I'm not I'm not kidding at all um, but yeah so I mean I guess they're they're signing a new 11 year meter rights deal with Disney which you know, Disney owns ESPN, um, NBC, and Amazon. And Adam Silver's, you know, really big on Amazon because he thinks, you know, with their, you know, subscriber base and, you know, prime video and all that stuff, they're going to really be able to attract viewers from across the globe. But, I mean, I get that, and I understand where he's coming from, but I feel like you're already doing that. You're already attracting people from all around the globe because of how international the league is. Like, you have Nikola Jokic, who's from Serbia, who's a three-time MVP. Like, that's, that's like, an unprecedented type of thing, too. Like, you don't, you don't really have, like, international guys dominating the league like this, where they're also competing with guys for the MVP award that are also international. Like, Luka Doncic, also not from the United States. Shea Gilgis-Alexander, also not from the United States. He's from Canada. So... I I get what he's trying to do, but I think on a certain level, it's like you're already achieving that goal. And, you know, in my opinion, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Like there's there's really no point. And I just I I hope that somehow there's someone that's able to recreate this kind of, you know, show that we've had with inside the NBA. But. You know, I don't think Ernie is going to leave TNT. I don't think Charles is going to go anywhere else. I think Shaq and Kenny, you know, might do other stuff. But, you know, it's just not going to be the same. It's just really not going to be the same. And, it's man, it's just I'm, I'm really sad about it. And I don't know, man. I, re- I really don't know. I, re- I really didn't think this was going to happen. I also saw something come out the other day that was like, you know, the NBA is strongly considering, you know, accepting, you know, TNT, or I think it was, you know, Warner Brothers that was running the bid um, that was encapsulating TNT. They were really considering it, and, you know, they were trying to get their bid up to really compete with, you know, the NBC and Disney and Amazon bid. And, you know, I guess that was you know false hope on some level because it doesn't seem like it's turning out you know that Adam Silver's literally had you know his his press release about this and it seems like that's what's going on um yeah here's a quote from him he says prime videos massive subscriber base will dramatically expand our ability to reach our fans in new and innovative ways and I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's wrong but it's it's not wrong, but it's not right. Because the NBA on TNT is a staple. Not just for basketball, like for all sports shows. And it's just, I don't know, I don't know. Like I, I always, like if I'm ever having like a bad day and like basketball's not in season, right? Like I just go on YouTube and I look up like NBA on TNT funniest moments. Like it gets me in a better mood like immediately. It's It's just such a like positive show it's just it's just such an amazing show and that group of guys is just so great like I vividly remember the like I think it was Shaq and Charles and they're covering uh, a Lakers game and Anthony Davis got injured or he went back to the locker room or something and you can just hear Shaq trying to like cover up his laughter by crumpling paper and then Charles calls him out and like it's just you gotta look it up if you've never seen that clip look up uh Shaq and Charles uh Anthony Davis crumpling paper or something like that you'll find it uh but it's it's just hilarious but yeah 
I'm I'm gonna miss that show a lot. I'm I'm really gonna miss that show. And I I I know I'm speaking for plenty of NBA fans where, you know, I'm sure people saw that news today and their hearts just like dropped. It's it's just crazy. Like I've never I've never been a really big like T V person. Like I I'll watch movies, I'll watch T V shows on Netflix and stuff, but like I don't really watch a ton of like you know, reality T V stuff like that. But I don't know. Like this this show just trumps everything. It just trumps everything for me. And it's always been just like something that I've always looked forward to. Like I always look forward to the beginning of the season. The beginning of the season is like right right around my birthday in October. And just seeing the first like TNT broadcast of the year, it's like it just it really is. It's like it's gonna, you know, soon soon enough now that it's ending, you know, it's just gonna be so nostalgic to like look back on it. But hey man, I mean all all good things come to an end at some point. Um but I just didn't think this was gonna end like this. I thought we'd have more of a warning. Uh but, you know, would more of a warning really have helped? You know, probably not, but you know, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to cherish every last moment of their show this season. And, you know, I mean, hey, hopefully these guys still do a show or a podcast all together. That would be great. I would love that so much. But, you know, if they don't, you know, it was – at least it was fun while it lasted. So if you guys are feeling like me today and not – not super happy about this news, you know, just do what I do on bad days and go into YouTube and look up NBA on TNT best moments and cheer yourself up because, you know, at least for us, we have the, the ability to, you know, have this saved all over the internet and go back and look at it when, you know, when we want, you know, at our leisure. So like I said, all good things come to an end. But at least we have another year, so cherish it. Peace.